Hello, welcome. In this video, we are going to learn accessibility functions. In accessibility functions, we have if a statement to how we can use accessibility function to make conditions. In this video, we will learn. In previous video, I have explained you all the types of accessibility functions available in Oracle integration. Even I have created the same requirement I will discuss in using switch statement in switch action in Oracle integration. So what operation we are going to perform, we are going to create an integration. That integration will take one value as a request payload, something like that number, and we will pass any number that can be positive, negative, or zero. And in response of that integration, we will receive result like positive number. So here we pass 125, that is positive number. That's why here in result we have positive. If suppose we pass minus 125, so it will show result as negative. So that kind of requirement we are going to achieve using integration, which we are going to create. So for adding the condition, you can see we have condition, right? Based on this number values, we are going to de declare the define the result. If number is positive, it will return positive number, something like that. So how we can achieve this one? We can achieve using condition. So in integration, we can use condition in two way by adding the action that switch statement or else using the accessibility functions direct in the mapping. So here we will learn about accessibility functions in mapping. So let me first create the integration. So here I am going to create application type so that I can uh, add a request and response period. So I will give the name as xx xslt if integration 01. I will give the name something like that so that it can be easy for identification. Right now, you can see that whenever we are creating integration, we don't have anything in, in canvas, right? So first we need to add trigger point. So I will use rest as a trigger so that our integration can be initiated and it can have the request and the response payload. For that, I need to drag rest connection here. In rest connection, friends, we have to provide the basic detail. Even in rest connection also, we have to configure the request and the response payload, right? So that kind of request and this will be the response payload sample we have to provide here. So I will use the endpoint name as a start rest as this is the rest endpoint and this endpoint is going to start the integration. That's why I use a start rest. Next here we have to provide the URI. So I will use URI as identify numbers and I will select method as post so that we can configure request and the response payload. If you will see right now in gate, we don't have option to configure the request payload, but we want to get some value and provide some value. That's why I will choose post and post. We will select both for this. This tick is for this checkbox is for adding the request payload and this check is for the adding the response payload, right? So now we will go next and where we have to in, you can see in the request tab, we have to provide the request payload. So I will select JSON and I have already created sample this one. So I will provide here in, in line. I will provide sample. So request payload I configured here. You can see by default is choose us JSON because I select here JSON and provided the JSON structure, right? I will go next and we have to provide the response in response. Again, we will configure the same response payload, which I have created. So I will select JSON sample in line provide json okay and now next you can see we have done with the endpoint configuration and done i will just change the layout to vertical so now you can see we have added the rest endpoint this endpoint will get some value the value it will get as a number and this is the mapper which is going to return back the response and now before going to return response, I have to add the condition based on number. We have to return response for adding the condition. We will use accessibility functions and we know that we can access accessibility functions in mapping only. So I will just click on mapper so that you get here. You can see this is our result. This is the option. This is the response payload. This result, right? So in here and here we have to map the value so that when integration will execute it, it will return result, right? And here, this is our request wrapper. Inside that, we have number. This is the this number is the request payload number, right? Request payload. So now we have to map this number in such a way. If this number is positive, this result should have the value as positive, else negative, and all. So how we can achieve? We have if a statement for that. So from where we can use or access the XLT functions by clicking on this XSLT icon. Once you will click here, but no, sorry. Once you will click here. 
you will have the option right so earlier this XSLD function will not be visible here once you will click here it will show one XSLD constructors once you will edit I have already explained we have two features that flow control and output flow control is used for adding the condition and output is used for showing the value for a specific condition so now you can see this is our request wrapper inside request wrapper this is our node in this node only we have to provide the value so once you will expand here you can see we have nil this is the value part right here we have to provide the value so what we need to do that before going to use we have to active this node by creating target node so just right click here and click on create target node so you can see this result is now active right now active and here you can see we have the mapper for the expression builder for adding the value so what we need to do is that before going to choose anything we will add conditions so why what condition we will add we will add condition if this number is greater than zero then this result should have positive hardcoded values right so i will drag if condition here in the result you can see when you will drag any flow control you can see this icon right so whenever you can see this icon it means that this if is for this node only so i will drag here result and you can see this if and if expression is available here so what condition i want to add i want to end if this number is greater than zero right we will take so if this number is greater than zero then what we need to do we need to provide value as positive so providing the value we have value of so we will drag value of for this if right we are going to provide value for this if condition that's why i drag this if to this values to if this if right not the result so here in the value of you can see we have expression builder we have to provide values i will use values as positive number this result i want to return now here you can see it's map if this number will be greater than zero it will show the result as positive number now we have to add another condition for adding the another condition again we have to drag the flow control as if and where we have to drag we have to drag on the result element right so whenever we will add the result element you can see another if is added and again we have to write the condition so again i will use number is less than zero another condition when our number is less than zero you can say this is greater than this is less than then what we need to do in output with the help of value we have to add the value as and you see a t i b negative and u m b number so this value i want to map and the, again if you will see here once we have okay somewhere we have done mistake okay so here you can see we have to provide if we are going to use single quotes we have to provide single quote both places and if we are going to use double quotes we have to provide double quotes so here you can see we have first if condition is for greater than second is for less than so both we have the value now we have to go for zero right so again we have to add the if statement i will drag if to result this is our endpoint node and here we have to add the condition so again i will drag number and we'll check if number is equals to zero right so i will take and what kind of value we have to provide if number is zero so again for providing the value we will use value of value of and here we have to provide zero number right so now we have done with all the conditions we have done with all the conditions right so once we will validate even you can chase so i have already created video where i shown you that how we can test our mapping in how how we can test our mapping with the help of uh, developer tools so here if you will see here in the testing tools once you will click here we will have option to test so right now we don't have value once you will click here to generate some inputs you can see this is our payload the number request payload and here we have to provide some value so suppose we will use 100 100 is positive number and for testing the same once we will click here execute you can see this 100 number will be passed to the condition and it will map that value and it will show result as you can see here the response wrapper and what it is showing positive number if you remember this is the same we have map right so instead of 100 if we will pass minus 54 
45 and once you will execute you can see it will show the result as negative and if we provide zero here zero here it will return as zero it means that our mapping is working perfectly fine everything is good and now it's it is ready for integration is ready for activate so will i will move back and remember i told you uh, many times that each and, and, and every integration should have at least one business identifier right so here you can see this error is related to that only right so for, for adding the business identifier just click here and here you can provide any value so i will provide the request wrapper value so number will provide here right so now you can see once i will click outside the error will be resolved now i can save you can see a status will be configured and it's ready for activate so just i will move back integration is in configure status i will just activate this integration by clicking on the power icon i will use debug mode so that we can validate or check the log messages reload here and you can see integration is activate now it's time to run here we will move to run and here in body you can see we have the request payload so here we have to provide value so right now you can see minus 125 is negative number once we will run in the response wrapper response you can see it will show us the result as negative number if again we will pass the value some positive value it will return the value as positive number and suppose if we want to pass value zero again it will return back the value as zero so friend this is the basic simple integration where i i showed you how we can create integration to use xslt functions if a statement thank you so much for watching don't forget to subscribe this channel and like the video and please share this video in your whatsapp group in your linkedin somewhere else so that your other friend other colleague get to know about that kind of thing thank you so much again for watching